Hey, our friends, today we're going to draw a super cool mythical creature, the Minotaur. I hope you're excited. You're going to follow along with me. You got something to draw with and some paper. Now it has a super cool head. It's a bull. So we're going to draw that first. We're going to draw him facing to the left and we're going to draw one eye up here towards the top and we're going to draw a diagonal line. Then we're going to draw a check mark or a V. We're going to draw sideways. We're going to draw a line across and then up. Now inside the eye, let's draw a little pupil. Now we're going to draw his forehead. We're going to start above his eye and we're going to draw it coming down and it's curved slightly in front of his eye. Then we're going to draw his nostrils. We're going to draw another curve. It comes out and then down. Now this is the top of his nostrils. Let's draw the actual nostril. We're going to draw a backwards six. Now let's draw his mouth. We're going to draw a line that comes back. And then on this mouth, let's draw the letter M. We're going to draw a big bump and then a small bump. And that's for his teeth. Next, we could draw the bottom of his jaw. So we're going to draw a short line that comes down. Then we're going to draw a line back. And then we're going to draw his big jaw muscle. We're going to draw a big J shape that comes down and then back up. Now let's draw his first horn. I'm going to start right above his eye and we're going to draw a big curve that comes forward. So we're going to draw these big, huge horns. Now we're going to draw a line that comes back, a curve, we're going to come back into his head. Now let's connect these two lines with a curve. And then right here, if we have a little gap, we can connect his forehead into his horn. Next, let's draw his hair on top of his forehead. So I'm going to draw a messy zigzag line just on top of his head and right below his horn. Then we could draw his other horn coming out from behind his head. Now let's draw a curve going the other direction. And then we're going to draw a line curving back. Cool. Now he looks 3D because he has two horns. If I ever go too fast during any of these steps, remember you can pause the video to take extra time. Now let's draw a few curved lines to make his horns look more 3D. Now I'm curving them this direction and this makes it look more round. Then on the other horn, we can curve it the same direction and we'll just add two since it's only part of his horn. The rest of it is behind his head. Now let's also give him a beard. I'm going to draw a zigzag line comes down off his chin. Next we could draw his ear. Let's draw a diagonal line back and then let's draw a curved line coming into his head. Then we could draw the inside of his ear and I'm going to draw a sideways six. There we go. Cool. Now let's draw his neck and I'm going to draw curving behind his the horn and above his ear and we're going to draw it curving down. Then we could draw his shoulder and I'm going to give him armor on his shoulder. So I'm just going to draw a big circle. Let's draw more hair on the back of his neck and I'm just going to draw a messy zigzag line. Some zigzags are big, some are small. And then we're going to connect it all the way down to his shoulder armor. Now let's draw his chest and we're going to draw a line that comes down from his cheek, from his jaw, and then we're going to curve it back into his armor. Next, let's draw his collarbone. We're going to draw a diagonal line right here coming out of his shoulder. And we can also draw a smaller one coming down underneath his cheek. We can also add a curved line for the muscle on his neck. Oh, he looks so cool. Okay, now let's draw his arm, his first arm. We're going to draw it over here, bent, and it's going to be hanging on to a big, huge battle axe. So we're going to draw a curve that comes down from his shoulder first. So we draw the curve coming down. And then we're going to draw a bent line coming this way, coming forward. Now let's draw his bicep. We're going to draw a curve coming out of his shoulder and almost connecting to his elbow. Then let's draw his forearm. We're going to draw a curve comes down and it comes close to this other line right here. Now let's draw his hand. 
So right here below this line, we're gonna draw a backward C. And this is so that he's hanging on to that huge battle ax. Now let's draw a big curve coming back from the C and connecting into his wrist. Then we can draw his thumb and we're gonna draw another curve coming down and connecting to that C. Cool, all right, now let's draw some more armor on his arm. We're gonna draw a curve going this direction. That's for his, his wrist. And we're gonna draw another curve that's bigger above that one. Then let's repeat that same step twice. We're gonna draw another curve here. And we're gonna draw another curve right next to this one. There's his wrist armor. Now let's add some more details to his arm. We can draw another line right here for his bicep. That's for his muscles, so he looks super strong. And also another curve down here for his forearm. Now I'm gonna add some more hair on the back of this arm. And it's gonna be a lot like the hair on the back of his neck. So I'm gonna draw a messy zigzag line coming down his arm. We can also add some details to his shoulder. I'm gonna draw a crescent right here on the edge of his shoulder. Now we're ready to draw the battle ax that he's hanging on to. We're first gonna draw two lines coming out of his hands. So we're gonna draw one here, and we're gonna draw one right below it, and we want these to be parallel. Then we're also gonna draw the back of the battle ax coming out behind his hand. So I'm imagining this line coming through, coming out the back, and we're gonna do the same thing with the bottom line. Imagine it going through his hand and out the back. All right, cool. Now we can connect the back of the ax with a curve. Now this curve matches this one so that it looks round and 3D. Now let's draw his left hand hanging onto the ax right here. So we're gonna draw an upside down U. This is for one finger, and then we can connect the bottom for his knuckle. Then we can draw his thumb. So we're gonna draw a line that comes up and back down. Kinda looks like a rainbow line. Then we're gonna curve it back in for the end of his thumb. Now let's give him one more finger. We're gonna draw another curve that comes out, down, and then connects into this first finger. And if we want, we can add an extra line right here to finish the end of his finger. Doesn't that look cool? Looks like he's really hanging on to the handle. Now let's finish the lines going into his fingers. So right here we can draw that top line coming in. And if we have a gap right here, we can also connect that one too. Now let's draw the rest of his body. Let's draw his belt first. So we're gonna draw a circle, and we're only gonna draw part of the circle, part of his belt buckle, because it's behind the handle. And then we can also draw the belt connecting back here into his arm. Now on the front, let's just draw a short line and then connect down to the handle. And then we could draw the rest of his body going into the belt. So I'm gonna draw a curve that comes down and curves in and then finishes into the belt. Now we can give him some more muscles on his stomach. We're gonna draw a line coming straight down and then a line across. All right, now let's draw his left arm. We're gonna draw this same shoulder armor right here we're gonna draw a big curve, big C, and we can also draw that crescent right there. Let's draw another curve that comes down for that crescent. Then let's draw his bicep. That's this line right here, this curve. We'll draw another curve that comes in, connects to his belly. Now we're gonna draw his forearm connecting to his hand. So we're gonna draw a curve that comes out of his bicep and down to his thumb. Now let's draw this armor on his wrist. So we're gonna draw the curves going the other direction. I'm gonna draw one going like that, and we'll draw another one right next to it. Then I'm gonna add just one curve for the end of his armor. If you want, you could add more details to the armor. I'm gonna add another circle, another half circle inside of his belt buckle. And if you want, you could add even more details. You could add spikes or other cool decorations. He's looking so awesome. Now let's draw the rest of his body. We're gonna draw, first we're gonna draw 
a square rectangle that comes down over and back up. Now we're going to draw his legs. Let's first draw his right leg. I'm going to draw a curve that comes down and actually bends back up, almost looks like a V. Then we'll draw the back of his leg, a curve coming down and almost touching his knee. Then we can finish his leg by drawing another curve coming out and down. And then we'll draw that front of his leg that matches the back. And he has hooves for feet. So let's draw a curve that comes out this direction and we'll draw another curve going the other direction. Then in between these two lines, let's connect with a curve. And then we need to split his hooves. So we're going to draw a V that goes, goes up. It's an upside down V and then back down. Let's give him armor just like he has on his wrist. We're going to draw two curves here and then let's draw two more curves further up. Now we need to draw his left leg. We'll draw another curve that comes out for the top of his leg. And then this one's going to be bent differently. So we're going to bend it this way. And then we'll draw that same line like we did over here for the bottom of his leg. Now we're going to draw the back of his leg like that. And then we can draw the front of his leg just like we did over here. It's repeating a lot of the same steps. Then we could draw his hoof down here for his other foot. And we'll repeat those same steps. Two curves going opposite directions. Then we'll connect the bottom and then draw that upside down V. All right, now we can draw the armor on his ankle. Just like that, two lines. And then let's draw another one. We're going to complete that curve and we'll draw another one right next to it. Oh, he's looking so awesome. Now we need to finish the axe. So let's draw two more lines and they're going to be short lines. They're going to come out. We're going to finish the handle comes out a little past his hand. Then we're going to draw a line to connect those two lines. And let's extend it out just a little past the handle on each side. Then we can draw two more lines coming forward. See how it got thicker. This is the metal part where the ax is connected to the handle. Now let's connect these two lines with a curve. And we can also add a little triangle on the end. Maybe it, it acts as a spear also. So let's draw another shorter line and a sideways V to connect the top down to the bottom. Also add two smaller lines to connect that into the handle. Okay, it looks like a spear. We need to turn it into a battle axe. Let's draw two curves coming out of the handle. Then we're going to draw the big axe, the big blade part that curves up and back down. Now let's repeat that down here for the bottom. We're going to draw the small curves coming out and forward and also one coming back. Then we'll draw the big one to connect the front to the back. Let's repeat those big curves. We draw another one inside and one down here on the bottom. And don't forget to pause the video. I know sometimes when I draw by myself, I might go faster than what you're used to. So you can always pause the video to take that extra time. He looks so cool. I'm going to add more hair on his legs. We're going to repeat that same zigzag right here on the side of his leg. It kind of matches what's on his arm. And then we can also add that hair right here on the side of his leg. I'm going to draw it coming down like that and then a curve coming up. All right, we did it. We finished drawing our Minotaur. He looks really cool, except he's going to look even better once we color him. Now this part I am going to fast forward, but at the end you guys can pause it to match the same color.
looks so much better colored in. So I hope you're gonna take the time to color your drawing also. You can use your imagination to change the coloring, the shading, even add more details, even draw a background. I'm sure your drawings turned out really cool, and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. If you had fun following along in this lesson, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the circle. Then you can click the bell to get notified every time we upload new videos. I've also picked out these two other lessons I thought you'd really enjoy. Don't forget to take a photo of your child's finished artwork and share it on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter because we want to see how awesome it turned out.